Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the Daily Challenge for February 11th, 2023. The character at the Silent and the mod parts are Chimera. You're starting deck as a fusion of all characters. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And deadly events, question mark rooms cannot contain leads, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. Interesting combination here. Chimera used to give me trouble, but I think I should be fine here, especially with Vintage. I think Monkey Bone in 12th place, that's really good, with 1654. And then Vorpal with 1654. Four, wait, 1654 and 1564. Okay, that's an unusual, not a multiple of 24 part scores. Um, 25, sorry. Let's review the scores from yesterday. Actually, before I do that, let's review the scores from two days ago because Monkey Bone, let me know, ended up in seventh place. Really good score with 1568. Um, two days ago was an insanity deck. Monkey Bone was able to get only four collector bonuses. I got five, so more were possible, but was able to get cursors, perfected everything, and even missed an extra 100 points by playing slower and not getting the Ilex Shiny modifier by one relic. So theoretically, 1668 would have been possible um and then yeah i'm gonna remove the top five from my score so in my book this is second place actually i think this one is a cheater as well or a, or a glitch run so yeah pretty much first place yesterday or two days ago yesterday um so i saw pelts here with 1715 uh in the top 20 so pelts uh, got the wing boots a little earlier and, and interestingly got it instead of the gear yeah where i got it so i got gear yeah and i actually didn't even use it I, I think i only got two strength at the end um but so pelts was able to get wing boots and as a result got an extra elite on act two in addition to the two elites on act three which is definitely possible um but interestingly the rng was different so um pelts didn't see the necronomicon event um and then also had an event that forced him to take the omori relic so wasn't able to get uh, curses uh, a few others were able to get curses so interestingly i guess theoretically another hundred points would have been different but who knows would have been possible but who knows if the rng would have been different if that would have changed things in terms of perfecting things and out of the scores but yeah pretty good score 17 15 um then next you have uh, Joe here was 1637. Uh, Monkey Bone had 1602 yesterday. Uh, Monkey Bone used actually Forethought to be able to get rid of Curses for the Unseen Top, which is something I didn't consider. I just removed the um, Forethought too quickly. Uh, David and Eb was 1579. You can check out his Twitch stream. David was able to get six collector bonuses, uh, perfected two bosses, and got eight of the leads. Interestingly, he went for the Runic Pyramid as the boss relic for Act 3, um, which did help quite a bit, although wasn't able to perfect the uh, time meter at the end. Uh, didn't see Wing Boots at all, and uh, was able. David was able to get Curses, so that's something to note. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I stood a chance. I only had four at the end. Uh, you have Yavos here with 1554, um, and then... Yeah, missing the top 20. No, no, barely making it into, into the top 20 is Mike here with 1491. People who missed the top 20, you have uh, Bjorn with 1437. Um only perfected one boss, uh, wasn't able to get curses on, uh, didn't see any curses on Act 2 and 3, which means also didn't see the Necronomic Curse event, similar to Pelts, uh, and then interestingly saw the Dead Branch in a shop rather than as a reward, and wasn't able to afford it, so that, I, th I suspect, changed the RNG quite a bit. I ended up in 1362, that's 274th place. I went for Popper, which uh, many people pointed out they didn't do that, I suspected it, it was a mistake, I tried it once, never gonna do it again, so, uh, yeah, definitely not going to have a big game hunter run with uh, popper in the future and then a few people who died malazan died to the slavers on act two and andrew died to the book of stabbing and then rerun reran it again and died, died to the gremlin uh, leader which i can definitely see act two is usually very tough especially if you have sort of an unpredictable deck uh, just i guess with the insanity all right let's move on to today's run so Kamira vintage deadly events with the silent so just to review the Kamira deck real quick you have eruption bash survivor and zap one from each color and then three strikes and three defense now the problem here is um the eruption right because i will be able to ex enter it but i won't be able to exit wrath at all uh, there's no three lead path there are multiple two lead paths if i start on the far left i'll get one two three four question mark rooms if i start uh, if i go to the middle i'll get less than that and if i go on the right i can get one two three four five question mark rooms i think i'll do that yeah maximizing question mark rooms although it might be difficult to get the curse modifier but i'll give it a try all right, so here, let's double strike and survivor. Okay. Try to avoid taking any damage early on. Wait, who's my final boss, actually? Slime. Okay, yeah. So then, actually, I might... I was thinking of maybe removing the eruption, but because I have... Actually, next turn, I don't have any good attacks. Uh, because I have the slime boss at the end, I do want to keep the eruption because it'll be very useful against the slime boss. All right, let's fill the defend here. I'll do a zap, sure. I think I just need the eruption again to be able to kill here. Yes. Good. 
Okay, you got meter on the bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP, which is great, as well as a blessing of the forge. And then, does it matter? Yeah, let's do the crush mark room first. Okay, speaking of curses, there's my first curse as well as wing boots. You may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to three times. Okay. Um, I think usually I do one charge in Act 2 and two charge in Act 3. Now, I could do one charge in Act 1. No, no, I think I'll do that because there's also a lower chance of me being able to perfect the leads on Act 1. So I think I'd rather wait. Uh, let's do Eruption Strike here. I could have considered the Survivor to avoid taking damage, but I think this is fine. Should be able to kill here. Got Molten Egg whenever they add an attack into a deck. Upgrade it. Good. And then remove a card. I could remove the curse. But no, no, I think I'll remove... What do I want to remove? Uh, the Zap is not going to be super useful. I'm not going to be able to get any other defect cards. So let's remove that. Okay. I might have removed the Regret. Let's take it now. But I definitely... That's something I want to remove. And I do have a shop coming up if I want to go for the next question mark room. Right? Yeah. So let's remove the second... Ooh, Prismatic Shard is very interesting. Shovel is good too. Although, I probably don't need Shovel, right? Because I get enough Relics. Let's take the Predator. I feel like I should be able to get... Yeah, no, I don't I don't need extra Relics. I'll sh I should be able to get enough. So let's do Dagger Throw Acrobatics. Try to do something like the Discard Synergy deck. I'm seriously considering Prismatic Shard. It's just the problem is... No, no, it might it might make it too difficult to go for like a nice synergy. So I don't think I'll take it. Let's just remove the um the regret, one of the regrets at least, and then I'll also take a power potion. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Hmm. Right, I don't want to accidentally use the wing boots here. Alright, I'll just do bash and strike. Okay. Acrobatics and the dagger throw might allow me Predator is not actually Predator with the strike is enough to kill. Good. Yeah, Turnip, you can only become frail. That's a rare relic. Interesting to get it this early on. Lagavulin, is there something I want to wait for? Probably want to start with Predator next turn, right? I have a good offensive deck. Let's do Bash, and then hopefully next turn I'll be able to draw the Predator and deal a bunch of damage. I'm even considering upgrading... Actually, I could do Dagger Throw to get rid of the Regret as well, right? Yeah, let's do Predator, Dagger Throw. Very low chance of me being able to perfect, but I will give it a try. 18... Okay, so actually I can't fully defend if I play the Survivor into defense, but then the turn after I'll be in trouble. Let me see what this gives me. Caltrops, Infinite Blades, or Accuracy. Yeah, none of this will help. So I think what I'll do is, should I do the Blessing of the Forge? The problem is next turn I'll have 18 incoming. There's no way I can fully defend. So really the only thing is if I can kill here, which will be 49. If I do Eruption and Predator, that's 49 damage. What if I do Eruption then Dagger Throw? 24... I don't have to regret maybe get no no I don't think I can do that. Actually I have infinite blades next turn too. I don't know if that'll help me. Let's give it a try. Let's do blessing of the forge, infinite blades, survivor, one defend, and I can even do a dagger throw. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 18. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, right? Nothing I can draw that would allow me to be fully defended. Hang on, so eruption... No, no, there's nothing I can do. Which is a bummer, yeah. So I sort of wasted um, two potions for nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, uh, let's do Predator, Dagger Throw. At least I'm not taking damage from the Regret. That's... Oh, okay. Well, now I'm taking damage because I misclicked and discarded a Shiv instead of the Regret. Here I can do Eruption, Bash, and that's enough to kill. Got Eternal Feather for every five cards in your deck. Heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. As well as Leg Sweep, Deadly Events. Uh, Deflector Bane. Let's take the Leg Sweep. All right, and then here I got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Unfortunately, because I do have a curse that makes me lose three damage. I think I should upgrade the Lex Sweep. That should make sure that I can, well, hopefully, that should make sure I can defend against the Elites. All right, got the Sentries here. There's a Lex Sweep. Yeah, see, if I had the uh, upgrade potion this turn, that would be much better. Uh, instead, I have to do Lex Sweep, then Dagger Throw. Okay. Yeah, next turn I have to defend against 18. That's going to be almost impossible. Um, Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, let's just do Predator and Strike. That'll save me 9 damage, which is fine. And also gives me extra card draw next turn. Actually, plenty of extra card draw. Um, Yeah, let's do another Leg Sweep, sure. Okay. And then Strike. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can perfect this one. I definitely mismanaged my potions. I probably should have just given up the perfect on the Leg of Elune and just tried to go for a perfect here. Definitely don't want to enter Wrath here. I will take way too much damage. Hmm. Alright, and here I can do Predator Dagger Throw again. 
get rid of the regret okay and now i just need to deal 42 damage with another actually let's do oh no i can't do eruption and predator so fine i'll just do this the extra card draw is definitely helping me here um i don't have enough so let's full defend do a strike and then 60 damage 16 damage seems very doable with a predator yeah the predator is being very useful here we got meal ticket when we enter a shop heal 15 hp as well as a dex potion Rippling Cloud. I think I'll take Quick Slash. I would like more offensive cards um, and then have to go left for the next elite. Spike Slime. Get rid of the Regret. You know what? I think I'll do Eruption here. There's a significant chance I'll be able to transform next turn. All right. Yeah. Predator. Actually, even kill. Good. Stinging Bow. When any cards into your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. As well as a Block Potion. That Block Potion is very, uh, hopefully, is going to be very useful. Okay. Like a Lagavulin. Attempt number two. How do I do this this time? Um, I don't. Well, let's do Bash again. Should I do Leg Sweep? Extra turn of weakness might be good. No, let's do Bash. I'll hope for Leg Sweep next turn. Or, I guess in two turns. This turn, I want to wake up with the Predator. Perfect. And then Strike. Okay. And now I need Leg Sweep. I'm actually drawing seven cards, so it should be... I was going to say more likely than not, but it was not likely. So I'll do Predator and Defend. I'm a little low on HP, which worries me. Although I do, will rest with Eternal Feather later. So here I'll do Lex Weeby. Yeah, I needed that a little sooner. Okay. Alright, and then here I can do Bash, Dagger Throw. Okay, and then should be able to kill if I draw the um, Predator. Awesome. Alright, didn't perfect this one either. We got Toy, toy Ornithopter. One of you is a potion heal 5 HP. Dagger Spray might be good i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for popper i don't think i need unload yet so let's take the dagger spray if i go for popper i might get a little bit extra max hp so that, that's definitely something to consider i would love to do predator here actually yeah let's do predator and then survivor i was thinking of doing the leg sweep for extra weakness but i think the card draw is worth the little bit of damage i'll take because here i can do something like dagger throw dagger spray and then kill with quick slash good a regal pillow one of your rest heal additional 15 hp an attack potion and last upgrade on this act i wonder if i should upgrade the eruption you know what let's do it just for the slime boss and then in general i do want to hang on to it for a little longer because it might help me kill on acts two and three as well um not starting off with the um eruption it's a little unfortunate there it is though okay let's do eruption bash so this should almost guarantee me being able to transform next turn all right fine yeah let's do predator 60 damage is not bad yeah 13 um, HP split is really good, actually. And then I still have a dagger uh, spray, right? There it is. Okay, at least had no trouble against the boss. All right, Adrenaline, Corpse Explosion, 1,000 cuts. So, let's think. I won't get a lot of card offers. I wonder... I'm worried that without regular cards, I might just have trouble if I don't take rare cards either. So maybe I should take one of these. And then the question is, should I take Corpse Explosion so I can possibly get overkill or should I take adrenaline because I need extra energy in card draw let's take the adrenaline for now all right so astrolabe might be interesting it would allow me to get rid of the eruption though I just upgraded it dark shackles is probably or sorry slaver's call is probably the safer choice during Boston lead combat's got extra energy at the turn I probably don't want philosopher's stone do I want astrolabe no no let's play it safe let's take the slaver's caller yeah the extra energy I think is very valuable not that I have a lot of card draw, but I do have some. Okay, one, two, three. So I could do two jumps to get all four elites. Or just do one jump. You know what? Yeah, let's do the same as I usually do. One jump, or two jumps for Act 3. Probably should have just used one jump on each act, right? Okay, you know what? Just because in the past I always had trouble getting two useful jumps on Act 3. Although if this was Act 3, I would have been able to get... No, actually, if this was Act 3, I, two jumps were, would have been unnecessary. Wait, no, two jumps would have given me two extra elites, right? One jump is one extra elite, two jumps, two extra elites. Ah, oh boy. All right, fine, let's do two jumps, because that, I also see a path here with three extra question mark rooms, and then I can jump over for a shop. Seems like a good idea. So I have to get to this elite first, which means there's two question mark rooms and an early shop as well. All right, dagger spray is great here. Do I want to do eruption? Um, I might. Yeah, why not? Let's do eruption, then dagger spray. Okay. And then I can do strike. All right, I do have to worry about this bird next turn. Hmm. All right, yeah, that's a lot of incoming. Let's do Adrenaline. I do have Leg Sweep. That should help. Let's do Dagger Throw first. Actually, I can just kill one of them straight up, right? Yeah, let's kill you. 
and then kill you and you. All right, well, that was easy. We got Sendel every three times you shuffle draw pile, gain two extra energy. Doesn't actually that does happen often enough with a thin deck like this. We got Happy Thor every three turns gain extra energy. And then, ooh, definitely gonna take the preserved insect. Enemies in lead combats have 25% less HP. That's huge. Probably I would like least waffle, but let me focus on cards first. I do have a dagger throw ready, so I don't want to take another one. But I think something like backflip, sucker punch, and distraction are worth it. Get one gold short for being able for the uh, uh, potion, but I don't think I need a potion anyway. All right, Gremlin leader here who's not attacking me. That's useful. And I have the extra energy, which means I can do something like Predator and then double strike to get rid of the minions and increase the chance that I won't get attacked next turn. Yep, good. All right, um, I am contemplating risking the eruption. Oh, boy. So next turn, I don't have a lot of damage, uh, but I think... Let's try it. Let's do Eruption, Quick Slash. Dagger Throw is great, gets rid of the Regret. Then I can do Dagger Spray. I even want to drink the... Actually, no. No, I will give it a chance. There's a chance I might... I mean, I can use the Attack Potion next turn too, but there's a chance I might be able to kill without the Attack Potion because I don't need much. This is awesome. All right, perfect this one. Eruption helped quite a bit there. We got Tungsten Rod. One of you lose HP, lose one less, which is useful. I already have Dagger Throw. Dash is really good. Let's definitely take it. Well, eight Plants would have been tempting as well. But I think Dash is better. All right. Um, so here I have a bunch of coming. I think I'll do Survivor. I don't think I'll do the Predator. Uh, instead, I'll do Sucker Punch and Defend. Try to preserve a little bit of HP. Not that I really need it. I have a bunch of HP relics anyway. All right. 17. Should I do Eruption again? Hang on. So this would be 24, 33. Yeah, I can kill the Backliner. No, no. Let's not risk it. Let's do Dagger Spray, then Leg Sweep. Okay. Right, I do have to deal a bunch of damage here. Okay, this guy's trying to escape, which I would like to avoid. Uh, let's do Adrenaline. Hmm. Um, I will do Dash, Quick Slash. Oh, there's an Eruption. That's a little too late or early. I can't decide. Let's do Distraction, Crippling Cloud. Okay. Hmm. And then here I can do Dagger Throw. I can't do the Bash. This is enough to kill, though. Good. Add Shuriken, every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength, as well as Liquid Runs, which I don't think I'll take. And then the Slavers here. All right, let's see what the Adrenaline gives me. Okay, I do have Dagger Spray. I also have Leg Sweep. My hope is to kill the Backliner, which I don't think I can do right now. Let me see what the Attack Potion gives me. Bane, Master of Sab, Unload. I think Master of Sab, actually, Unload would allow me to get rid of the Curse. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's take it. It's also more damage than the Mesto Stab. All right, so um, what I'll do is I'll do Dagger Spray and then Leg Sweep. Oh no, I'm still missing. I'm missing some damage. Wait, what about what if I don't do Predator instead of Sucker Punch Unload? No, that's one too short. I should have drank the Dex Potion. That would have been enough. Let me reload real quick because that, that was definitely something I didn't consider. For some reason, I thought um, the front line is attacking either for 13 or for 7. And in my mind, it was a 12 or 7. In my mind, it was 7. And I didn't consider that I needed more. So let's do the same way and drink this potion so I can do leg sweep here. Perfect. That way I can fully defend. Let's do dagger spray. Um, and then I will do predator and then unload. Okay. Get an extra strength that way too. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. And now it's only 12 incoming. Dash is enough to be fully defended. Let's do dash. Dagger throw. Kills this one. Good. And then I can even do something like Quick Slash and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can just kill with Eruption and Strike. Good. All right, we've got Pair Up and Pick Up Race to make sure we buy 10, as well as a Colorless Potion. And Cloak and Dagger seems pretty good. Let's take it. Mm -hmm. And then first jump, Roman Leader again. Again, I'm not getting attacked. And I think this time I'll definitely do Eruption because then the Dagger Spray kills everything. I can do Quick Slash and uh, too bad I can't do the Predator. I get attacked now, I'll be in trouble though. Luckily, I'm not. Let's do Adrenaline, and then I can do Bash and Dash. Good, perfect this one. Got Blood Vial at the Savage Combat, heal 2 HP, as well as a Liquid Bronze. And I did take a distraction, right? I already have a distraction. I don't think I'll do Eviscerate, even though it does do a lot of damage. I only have two discard synergies, right? It's the um, Dagger Throw and the Survivor. And actually, I have three Acrobatics. That's tempting. It's a good attack card, and I already have the other two. Let's take it. All right, Book of Stabbing. This might be rough. I am starting off with a dash, which is useful. So I think I'll do dash and predator for extra card draw next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
18. There's a ruption, but this one, this time I think it's going to be hard to use. Leg Sweep is really good. Yeah, I should definitely do Leg Sweep. Okay. And then do Dagger Spray and Double Strike. Mm -hmm. Okay, 15 incoming. So Cloak on Dagger Distraction has to give me something good. Malaise. That's interesting. So if I do Malaise, the enemy's already weakened, right? So it would have been 21. If I do, if I play a Cloak on Dagger, which I think I have to do. Then um, Malaise would be 300. That would bring it down to 18. With weakness, that's 12. I think I have to. Let me see what the Colorless Potion gives me. Apotheosis. Panic Button. Or Chrysalis. I mean, I could take the Panic Button if I know I can kill next turn. Seems likely. What do I have in my draw pile? Yeah, I have attacks. Let's take the Panic Button. Do that. And then I can do Eviscerate. And Sucker Punch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill next turn. Oh, I forgot I was going to draw cards. Okay, now it's slightly less likely, but... Oh, wow. I need... Okay, good. Luckily, I got an attack. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble. Got my trash card. The next two numbers chests you open contain two relics, which is great. I already have Cloak and Dagger. I don't have any poison for Catalyst to be worth it. Let's take the blur. All right. And then I decide to go right with three extra question mark rooms. Okay, we got tiny chests. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. I actually don't want that because I want question mark rooms to have a higher chance of having elites. Let's take the bag of preparation instead. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Okay. And then here, I could wait. So far, I only have one curse, right? Okay, well, I guess I got to neutralize. Poison Stab is okay. Predator, I already have one, so I don't want... Do I want the Shame? I mean, I have to turn it, but it's too late now. Do I want Poison Stab? Doesn't really fit the stack, but it's another attack. Yeah, sure, let's take it. Okay. The Neutralize is not bad. It's pre-upgraded, so I can't complain too much. All right, got these Slavers again. Oh, this is interesting. So... I can do... Let's do Adrenaline. So I can do Eruption. The Nagger Spray will be 24. Uh, 33. Not enough to kill either. Um, I can do Dash. I have one leftover energy. Um, but I have too much incoming. So I don't think I can do Eruption. So let's not do it. Instead, I think what I'll do... Definitely do Dagger Spray. Okay. How do I deal 24 damage here? That's 13. Another 9 is uh, 22. That's not enough. Can I discard? Actually, if I do Survivor, the Eviscerate gets a little cheaper. And that's 27. But then I don't have enough block. I do want to play the dash, too. If I do dash, that's 21. What if I just defend? I need 27. Yeah, now I don't have enough for Lex Sweep. Um, wait, da yeah, dash, Sucker Punch is just not enough. Wait, if I do dash, Sucker Punch, the backliner, then it'll be 9 plus 14, 23. And I will have um, 21. Yeah, no, then I'm still off. Um, let me see what the backflip gives me. I still have a block potion, but I would like to avoid it. Avoid playing it, I mean. So, what if I do neutralize? Does that change something? Um, so dash is 26. I need 27. Yes, actually, if I do dash and then neutralize, I would be able to fully defend. I don't even need to neutralize the backline, right? I can neutralize you too. Okay. Mostly because I do want this one to be weakened next turn. The backliner should be dead next turn, hopefully, if I play things right. Um... I have to play the Predator, but then I have still 16 incoming, which means I have to use the Block Potion if I want to perfect. Actually, wait, let's do Acrobatics first. Does that change anything? I have 11 block. I need 16. No, I still need that Block Potion, right? So let's do Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Poison Stab, and then drink the Block Potion. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here I have extra card draw. Um, dagger spray is enough to kill the frontliner. And then let's see what the distraction gives me. Expertise. Actually, I can kill with dagger throw. All right, perfect. This one had to use my potion, though. We got pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Wraith form. I mean, it's not like I'm not going for rare cards. I could take the wraith form upgrade. I already have dagger throw. I don't want to add maneuver. Yeah, let's take it. All right, here I got a shop, which means I probably don't need to jump over for this shop. I, I think I'll just do a regular fight instead. Lantern is interesting. Let me focus on cards, though. Already have the Predator. Piercing Well is pretty good. Do I want... Actually, Orange Pellet's not a bad idea because I just picked up Wraith Form, right? Yeah, let's take the Orange Pellets. One of you play Power, Attack, and Skill in the same turn. Remove all of your debuffs. And then I can only choose one card. Let's take the Piercing Well. Pretty good card. I could have also considered going for Potions. That might have been a good idea, too. All right, got the snake plant here. 21 incoming. Let's do adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Survivor, get rid of the regret. Um, I would like to play the dash. Actually, yeah, dash would allow me to be fully defended. And then do dagger spray. Okay. 
Could have done a raid, but I don't think that was necessary. Hmm. Another 21. Uh, I don't think I can kill with the eruption, so let's just do leg sweep. Um, I guess I'll do dagger throw, defend, and neutralize. Okay. Hmm. And here, let's do quick slash, poison stab, and just a regular strike. Gives me extra strength too. Should try harder to play more than, or to play at least three cards every turn. I think I'll just do Wraith Form here. Or should I do, you know what, Piercing Well uh, does the same thing, right? Yep. Actually, it's better because then I won't take three damage. Let's do Sucker Punch. Distraction gives me, okay, you know what, let's do Wraith Form as well. Why not? Okay. Wraith Form will help me next turn. I'm even considering not attacking. Can I kill with the poison? Not really. Can I kill by doing something else? Um... No, no. So I think I have to I have to sort of waste my double damage there with the pendant. Got all these moonstones, so I just come with one dexterity, which is great. And now I'll jump over for one more elite Gremlin leader for the third time, right? This time I didn't get the um um what do you call it? Didn't get the eruption on turn one, which is unusual. Let's do dagger spray, kill one of them with a strike, the other one with the poison stab, and then I can see what the distraction gives me. Corpse explosion, okay. This should allow me to get the overkill modifier, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was lucky. Okay, I think I'll just do Eviscerate here, right? It's a lot of damage. Um, here, let's do Bash first, then Dagger Throw. And then between Eviscerate and Predator, I mean, this will deal 45 damage. This gives me extra card draw. I think I'll do the 45 damage instead. Because now I don't need much to kill next turn. All right, yeah, Eruption does it. And got the Overcome modifier. Perfect. At Kunai, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Dexterity, as well as a Speed Potion, and already have a Dash. Escape plan or doppelganger. Um, let's take the fine. Let's take the escape plan. I would like more card draw anyway. Okay. Back to full HP. I think I have to upgrade the wraith form. Mm -hmm. All right. I just have to remember to play together with an attack and skill. Yeah, I think I might want to do it this turn in case I get attacked next turns, right? Or should I keep it for the hyper beam fight? Uh, hyper beam turn. Yeah, fine. I'll try to keep it for the hyper beam turn then. Uh, instead, I think I'll do escape plan. A blur survivor and then just do eviscerate yeah i think i might be better i will keep some block for next turn okay i do have double damage very soon i do leg sweep here um yeah let's do double damage on the leg sweep so i'll do uh sorry double damage on the dagger spray i mean let's do leg sweep then dagger throw and then i'll do double damage dagger spray and then neutralize this one too okay Okay, now I just have to make sure I draw quickly enough to the Wraith form for the second time. Uh, I still have Eden coming. Luckily, Cloak and Dagger is fully enough. Uh, what did this guy take? Adrenaline. Oh, I would like that back. So let's do um, the Quick Slash, then Poison Stab would kill. I can get the Adrenaline back. And then the Regret will also force me to draw a bunch of cards, right? So that's fine. And then I'll do Bash. That way I can weaken next turn. All right, and then actually I can just do dash instead of the cloak and dagger, right? That will also deal way more damage. All right. Okay, so I drew a bunch of cards there. And now if I draw the Wraith Form, I wouldn't mind that at all. And especially if I have 20 incoming. I can luckily full the defense though, right? Let's do backflip. All right, and then I think I'll just do survivor and defend. And then just do... Uh, let's do strike because I don't want to draw anything if I won't be able to... Oh, this guy took Wraith Form. That's actually good because then I can control when I get it back. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll do, st oh boy, how do I do this? Yeah, let's do strike. If I do cloak and dagger and shift, I won't be able, yeah, let's just do leg sweep. That way the enemy will be weakened next turn. And then, um, might as well play another shift here. Okay. okay. So I have to be careful. I have to both kill this one and play the wraith form and gain block. I don't think that will be possible. I do have extra energy. Okay, so I can do Dagger Spray. Phew. All right, so let's do Dagger Spray. Lady Wraith Form. And then with Blur, I also get rid of the... Um, I mean, I'll trigger the Orange Pellets, which is very nice. So I don't lose any decks. Okay, so here, let's do Sucker Punch. Neutralize for even more turns of weakness. And then I can do Eviscerate. All right. Okay, last term of tangibility. I think I have to do Eruption here, because that's my only hope to be able... Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait. I have to fully defend. I am not fully defended. I need at least... Oh, uh, God. Okay, good. I was worried. I completely forgot the fact that I do need some blocks. So it's a shame that I wasn't able to play the Predator, but what can you do? All right. So here, let's play the dash. 
then see what the acrobatics gives me okay two attacks and that is enough to kill few all right perfect this one thanks to the wraith form a second wraith form i don't think i can take that corpse explosion nightmare i mean i already have overkill so i don't think i need the corpse explosion i don't really can i can't really see a good reason to take nightmare there are a few cards i'd like duplicated but not that many i think i'll take the max hp here instead yeah Corpse Explosion would have been a decent choice, but I already have Overkill. Let's say Curse Key again. Energy at the start of your turn. When we open Nomba's chest to obtain a curse. Now, of course, having a tiny chest would have been better, but fine, fine. So let me see. If I had tiny chest, I think I hit two or three question mark rooms after that. No, it was a treasure chest, right? So I think I had. I think I only had two question mark rooms, although one of them was a regular was an elite fight. Yeah, so I probably could have triggered the tiny chest twice. So that's two extra curses. Alright, um, I only have one jump. Oh, this is great. Actually, wait, I don't even need one jump. I could have used one jump, one charge of the... Wait, did I already use... When did I use all my wing boot charges? I only jumped twice on a... Two, right? Wait, I, I need to check the footage for this. Okay, I checked the footage, so I guess I made a mistake. Well, I, I'm not sure if it was a mistake, because in retrospect it was right. But yeah, I basically used three charges on Act 3 to get just get a bunch of extra question mark rooms. I didn't need it to get extra elites. Now, those question mark rooms did have extra elites, but the reason I say it's it wasn't a bad decision is because in this act, I wouldn't even need a jump to get extra elites. Yeah, I might have used the jump to get extra question mark rooms, but yeah, fine, whatever. I guess you can take get a higher score because so if I had one jump, I would have done this three elite path, first elite here, then continued over with no question mark rooms to this elite, then did one, two, three question mark rooms, then jumped over for a third elite. Now, because I don't have that extra jump, I have to go on this path, which only gives me one question mark room instead of three. But I think, I mean, hard to say. Definitely let me know in the comments if you went for a different path or if you used wing boots differently. All right, so I do have double damage. I don't think I will use it here. Let's do escape lamp first. I can do acrobatics, get rid of the regret. All right. And then I think, yeah, let's do double damage. Sucker, actually, yeah, fine. Let's do sucker punch. Also apply some weakness. Quick slash and then a piercing whale. Okay, that way I only take three damage. All right, nine incoming here. I think I can just do ba a dash, bash and dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another 21. Uh, I can do Wraith Form here or 18 plus. No, I don't have enough to kill. So let's just do Wraith Form, Cloak and Dagger, and then Dagger Spray and uh, Shiv. I think the um, Orange Pels is really helping me avoid the downsides of having the... Um, having the Wraith Form. Uh, here, I would like to play a few extra attacks just to... Um, I probably should not have triggered Sundial. That might have been a mistake. All right, fine. Let's do Predator. Okay. Yeah, Potion Belt. I'm picking up getting two Potion Slots as well as a Gambler's Brew, which is great. Don't have a lot of gold to spend here. And probably, actually, Orcalcum might be great in case I don't have any block for a turn with uh, Wraith Form, right? Uh, not a huge fan of any of the cards. Maybe Sneaky Strike, but I think instead I'll just take the Orcalcum if you end your turn without blocking six block, and then I can't afford anything else, which is fine. All right, no elite fight here. Oh, I hate to lose any of these. What a tough choice. Oh, boy. So Lexweave is great, Wraithform is great, and Dash is great. Now, another choice is to remove the Wraithform and then somehow remove the Adrenaline and try to go for Popper after all. Uh, the problem is I don't have a guaranteed shop, so there's no guarantee that I can remove that Adrenaline. Um... I mean, Wraith Form is just too valuable. Dash is fine too. Lex is fine too. Let's get rid of the Dash, I guess. Of the three, I hate losing any of them, but I guess Lex is better than the Dash. And Wraith Form is really good too. If I do the Wraith Form here, I don't have to worry about the Exploder, so I think I'll consider that. So let's do Wraith Form, Escape Plan, and then I would like one strike to get rid of the defa uh, def Debuff. Debuff. What did I say? Defect? No, Debuff. And then I can't enter Eruption here because I should be intangible for a few turns. Actually, I didn't even need the escape plan. I, I had the Orcalcum anyway, right? Mm -hmm. And then here I can do... Um, let's do double damage Sucker Punch. Okay. I might as well do Lex Sweep, all right? And then the Exploder would die here, and I just have to worry about this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can kill. Uh, yes, good. All right, we got bronze scale, start each combo, three thorns, and then going left, right? I just want to make sure I don't accidentally take the wrong path again. Okay, got the giant head here, 13 incoming. Um, right off the bat, that is a little bit of a challenge. I think if I play three strikes, actually, I don't have a power, right? Otherwise, I could try to use the speed potion. 
Mm, let me see. So if I do bash, quick slash, and cloak and dagger, that'll be seven block. I'll get one extra dex, but I only have two energy left. And then this would be another seven. So that'll be 14. Yeah, that would be enough. Let's do that. All right. So um, let's do cloak and dagger first then. It is a skill. Then bash, then quick slash, and then a shiv. Okay, fully defend with the defend. I won't be able to do the predator. Let's do distraction, and unfortunately, I can't use it. All right. Here, let's do escape plan first. Um, I guess I'll do acrobatics. Okay. And then just play the attacks, right? So neutralize, dagger throw. And then double strike and the dagger spray for double damage. Nice. Okay. I didn't get overkill. I haven't gotten combo yet. That might be difficult, though, without too much extra energy. Do I want to do the eruption? If I draw the wraith form, there it is. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. So I'll do wraith form, eruption. Uh, no, I do need... Actually, I have a Recalcum, so I don't even need to defend. So let's just do Eruption, Sucker Punch, and Poison Stab. Okay. Hmm. Alright, there's Lex Sweep. I would like some damage cards. Uh, yep, there's Neutralize. That's not good enough, but fine. I'll take it. And then might as well do Lex Sweep. You know what? Might as well play all the defensive cards. Why not? Okay. Alright, last of Intangibility. Okay, so here I can do Bash... Poison stab and double strike to kill. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one we got blue candle, unplayable curse cards gonna be played. When we play curse, lose one each being exhausted. That's was an essence of steel. And I already have acrobatic sneaky strike or reflex. Let's take the sneaky strike, even though I don't really need it that badly. I don't have enough discard synergy, so that's I think my biggest problem. Wouldn't mind taking some more. Um, do I want to enter Wrath here? Might be tempting. Uh, let's try that. Let's do eruption. Then, uh, let me see what the regret gives me. I was hoping... Oh, right, I don't take any damage. Right, right. I'm hoping to get something like a dagger spray. That would be nice. I did not. Uh, I might keep the blur. So let's do quick slash for double damage. Okay. Then, um... Oh, I, for some reason, thought I could kill things. Okay, I can kill one of them, at least, with a sucker punch. The other one I will have trouble with, though. Let's do neutralize. No, no, I have enough. Right, right. Okay. I am luckily not being attacked. That's a huge help. And I got the Wraith Form. That's also a huge help. Let's do Wraith Form. Distraction gives me a Calculate Gamble, which I'll play in a second. I think I'll do Poison Lab. You know what? I probably don't need to play the Calculate Gamble. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, Wraith Form, I think, alone is worth the 50 points that I lose from Popper, just because I think because of it, I'm able to perfect a lot of elites and bosses. We got Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn, gained 18 block. Choke, Bouncing Flash, Poison Stab. I mean... I have the energy. I could go for choke. Yeah, yeah, let's take choke. Why not? Yeah. All right. Next upgrade should probably be the, uh, the adrenaline. I was going to say escape plan, but no, adrenaline is much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here, got the spirit guardian and the spikers. I think I'll just wait for... Well, I can get rid of this. I think I'll just wait for the uh, wraith form, right? That'll make my life easier. All right, let's do predator, though. Uh, then Lex Sweep, Blur for extra block next turn. And I can even do Piercing Whale for even more block next turn. Sure. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so I am almost fully defended. Actually, thanks to Tanks and Rod, I am fully defended. But yeah, let's do Wraith Form. That way I just don't have to worry about it. I do want to play a skill at least though. So let's do Quick Slash. No, Dagger Spray. Then Quick Slash. Uh, but then I can't play a skill. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm fine losing some decks. I think that's okay. I feel like I should be able to kill fast enough that I don't need the extra decks. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't have to worry about the Exploder. Um, so instead, I can do double damage. Yeah, I guess Eruption. Then uh, Bash. Poison Stab. And then I uh, should be able to kill the Spiker next turn, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I can do Choke to kill. Good. I got Art of War. If you don't play, if you do not play any attacks during your turn, get additional energy next turn, as well as a block potion. That block potion is very useful. And then normality. Um, that is not that great. I might want to try to remove that. We've got Anchor, so I just come with 10 block and Gremlin Horn when an enemy dies, get energy and draw one card. To go right for two more elites. Well, I hope I can remove the normality. Oh, well, actually, I guess I can remove it with the um with the blue candle. So let's remove it first. Then do Adrenaline. Do need to come up with a little bit extra block. I should have probably done Choke first. Yeah, let's do that now. I don't think I'll do Eruption. Even though... No, I don't think I can defend against 26. Let's see what the Dagger Throw gives me. 
Actually, with weakness, it'll be down to 19, right? Um, 19 is still not enough. No, I don't think I can do it. So no eruption for me today. Uh, let's just play other attacks. So I'll do Sucker Punch, Strike. Uh, can I do... Yes. No, no, I can't trigger the double damage this turn. Um, I think I'll just do Dagger Spray. And then probably just do Eviscerate. Yeah, not a bad amount of damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here, get rid of the Regret. I'll do Bash. I should have done the Defend first. I had the Energy. Then Neutralize and Predator. Nine incoming. Uh, let's see what the distraction gives me. Expertise is not that useful. Uh, blur is good in case I get a tank next turn, which is possible. And then, yeah, let's just do... Well, I should have done acrobatics first, too. Ooh, I can do a free sneaky strike. That's good. All right. Escape plan first should have been better. And there's a wraith form that I unfortunately cannot use. That might be a bit of a bummer. Uh, let's do backflip just so I can get through my deck faster. Hopefully get back to that wraith form. Not being attacked here. Again, even though I have plenty. Actually, I can do Blur. Yeah, let's hope I get Wraith Form. So I think what I'll do is I'll do Blur, Eruption, Dagger Throw. Um, and then I don't think I need Cloak and Dagger. Let's just do Double Strikes. Actually, that's enough to kill. Good. At Pocket Watch, one of you play three or less cards during your turn. Draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn, which is great. Deadly Poison, Reflex, Dagger Spray. already have this. Probably don't want this. Reflex might be useful if I draw it in the right turn. And then going right for one uh, Question Mark Room and one Guaranteed Elite. All right, again, getting lucky with the normality, able to get rid of it early. Uh, distraction gives me blur. I can do... I do have double damage coming up soon. I could do double damage with the eviscerate. That's 54 damage. That would kill one of them, right? Yeah, let's do neutralize and then double damage to kill this one. That way I am not taking any damage this turn. Good. Mm -hmm. Not hanging on to a lot of block with the blur either, though. Alright, so here I think I'll just do Wraith Form. Um, I won't be able to play both a skill and attack, though. That might be a problem. Let me do Dagger Throw first. Um, okay. Yeah, I can do a Sneaky Strike. Fine, let's do Wraith Form. So the Backliner will be dead. See, if I didn't have that extra block or a couple would allow me to fully defend it, but thanks to Tank's Rod, I'm not taking any damage anyway. Alright, so here I will do Choke. Actually, I can do Eruption here, right? Yeah, let's do Eruption, Choke, and then uh, Bash, Adrenaline, and Predator is enough to kill. Good. Okay, we got Bite Beast Statue, Potions always appear in combat rewards, which is better late than never, I guess. We got another Regret. No. Oh, no. Bit first, anyone of you play Power Card, heal 2 HP? This does mean I won't even get the Highlander modifier, huh? That is a problem. That is a big problem. Uh, let's get rid of the Curses. Uh, do I want to do Wraith Form? Yeah, no reason not to. Uh, although, again, I can't do both skills and attacks. That's fine. That way, at least I don't have to worry about the Exploders. And I can enter Wrath and target the Backliner. Okay. I can't believe I lost the um, I lost the Highlander modifier. It was a... Yeah, I guess it's a 20% chance. I'm trying to think if I should have avoided opening that treasure chest. I, I don't think I... You know, I don't think I would have really been able to plan that ahead. Sucker Punch, Acrobatics, maybe play another attack with Cloak and Dagger. Okay. And I can just wait one per turn or... Um, actually, maybe I do want to play a few attacks to get the Pendib to a better place. Uh, let's do Choke. No, uh, Strike, uh, Bash, and then Dagger Spray. Okay. All right, got Dr. Imperia. One of you obtain a Cursing Cursing, make sure we have six. A little too late for that, huh, game? A Duplication Potion is nice. My only hope is I get... Um, I get that Relic that allows me to remove cards at rest sites after this fight. That's pretty much my only hope. I think I'll do Wraith Form here. Yeah, let's do Wraith Form and then Dagger Throw. See what the Reflex gives me. I can get rid of another Regret, then do Escape Plan. Okay, got rid of the debuff. And then one more attack. I guess that should be the Dagger Spray. Okay. All right, not being attacked here, so a little bit of a waste of an intangibility there. Uh, but I think instead I can do Predator, Backflip, Blur. And you know what? Let's also do Sucker Punch for weakness next turn. Mm -hmm. All right, again, only the small attack. Uh, let's get rid of the Regret. I can do Adrenaline. Uh, distraction gives me Acrobatics, which allows me to play a free Sneaky Strike. Actually, let's do the Eruption. Then do Sneaky Strike and then a Cheap Eviscerate. 
and that's enough to kill. Good. A paper crane and it's weak till 40% less damage rather than 25. As well as a colorless potion, which I don't think I'll take over the potions I already have. I'm happy with the ones I have. Blur flying neo blade dance. I'll definitely take the blade dance here. And then, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to remove that duplicate regret, which is a huge bummer. Uh, let's upgrade the cloak and dagger because I have kunai and shuriken. It will be pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. All right, so time eater. Um. I think I should be fine in terms of defense, right? I'm trying to think if I should play the choke first, and I think, well, let's drink the essence of steel for sure. Don't want to double play the choke. That might be a little too much. Yeah, let's just play it once. Get rid of the regret. Okay. Then see what the backflip gives me. Okay, I can do dagger throw. It doesn't mean I won't be able to play either of a serrate or sneaky strike, but that's fine. I can do blur here. Oh, Lex, we would have been great if I could have played that. Um, let's do... So I have to, hmm, Blur is not going to help me in any way, right? Let's do Cloak and Dagger instead. Uh, that way, at least I play a Shiv. Okay, yeah, fine. Next turn, I can play six cards. Don't draw any extra, though. That might be a problem. Actually, quite the opposite. I draw one less. Piercing one is really useful here. Let's get rid of the Regret. Let me see if I can play... Unfortunately, I will have trouble playing a lot of cards, but I'll do Piercing Whale and Predator. So I am fully defended here, and then I can only play two cards next turn. I do have some good um, potions, though. Alright, 21 incoming. Actually, I'm almost fully defended, right? Uh, even, well, 27 if I play two cards. I'm trying to think if I should keep the Wraith form. Yeah, if I do the Survivor, I should be able to fully defend, right? Let's do Survivor. Actually, let's do Acrobatics first. Actually, if I do Neutralize, so that'll bring it down. Thanks to the uh, Paper Crane I just got, that will be enough, too. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hmm. All right, 16 incoming. I can get rid of... Okay, there's a Wraith form again. Might be useful. I might even consider duplicating it, right? Yeah, let's duplicate it to make my life easier. So get rid of the Normality first. Then I'm going to duplicate the Wraith form. Okay. So that's six turns of intangibility. I just need to play an attack and skill to not have to deal with the debuffs. Actually, let me drink the speed potion as well. That way I'll just get rid of all the debuffs immediately and I have plenty of decks. Okay. All right. So um, now I think I can focus on attacks and maybe I can even get uh, play an eruption if I draw it. I did not. Um, do I want to do eviscerate? I do have double damage. Yeah, let's do eviscerate. Then neutralize. And I can only play three cards next turn. That is fine. Let's do poison stab. All right, one more turn of it being attacked. Uh, I do need to bring it down to 27, 227, right? So let's do Dagger Throw. All right, and then Bash and Quick Slash, okay? So this will guarantee transformation next turn. Hmm. Because it will transform next turn, I don't think I'll play anything here. I could do Eruption. Yeah, let's do Eruption. That is worth it. And I'll get rid of a Shiv. I don't think I need it. Actually, can I kill here? I'm not far away from being able to deal double damage, which would be 108 damage here. I think I can kill. Yeah, let's do strike one, strike two. The extra strength definitely helps. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Seven seconds over 45 minutes. That's a bummer. So an easy 25 points would have been possible there. 1426, which is not too bad. I did perfect all the bosses, right? Yes, got 10 out of the uh, 13 elites, which is not too bad. And yes, as I said, I'm not sure if that's the maximum number of elites because I used the wing boots to get, I think, only one extra question mark room on Act 2. And I think I could have used it to get two extra extra question mark rooms on Act 3. And even any extra, extra question mark room on Act 3 would have allowed me to get extra points just from the fact that the elites on Act 3 cost more. I did get overkill thanks to that lucky course explosion. Um, did get I like shiny though. Everybody would have gotten I like shiny though, right? I think the biggest thing I missed is speedster, of course. Um, no, I got speedster. I missed the uh, what is it? The other one. What's the name of the other one? Anyway, uh, and then the other thing I missed is uh, combo might have been very difficult. I don't think I could have gotten that. Curses, I think, might have been possible if I had taken the tiny house. Oh, of course, Highlander. Yeah, that's the other thing I missed. Got very unlucky with that second regret. Really big bummer. Um, 15, 20 sec, uh, 26 would have been possible with an 80% chance, and I just got unlucky. So let's see where I would have stand uh, in the rankings. It would not even have made it close to the top 20. So if I had 15, 26, that would have been um, here. So 24th place. Warpal got 15, 64. So that is only 40 points more. So that means that I would suspect that Warpal took the uh, use the wing boots twice on act three and as a result was able to get an extra 10 points 
um, maybe with an extra elite. Um, and then Monkey Bone got 1654. Uh, yeah, so that would be exactly 25 points more. Well, I guess 225 points more than what I would have gotten. So with Highlander and what else? I don't maybe I don't I don't think so. The reason I'm worried about Pauper is because the Wraith form was really necessary for me to be able to affect everything or not everything, but at least a bunch of stuff, right? So I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Curses was possible. Interesting. I got 14 points less than Pelts here. Yeah, yeah. So I I do wonder if either Curses or Highlander or both would have. Well, Highlander for sure. I'm wondering if Curses would have been possible. And then um, yeah. So Highlander and Curses would have put me in 1426. Uh, sorry, 1626. That would have been uh, right below Monkey Bone. And then next are 25 points, maybe if I'm getting lucky with an extra elite. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you were able to get curses um, and how you use the wing boots, if that ended up resulting in a better uh, or more number of elites. So I had 13 total. Uh, I think it was three on Act 1, five on Act 2, and four on Act 3. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you got something different. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.